Bro, hold on. I gotta get in the car for this one. Man, I gotta I gotta put on the AC for this one. Bro. Bro, hold on, I gotta take out the earbuds for this one. Hold on, man. <laughs> Hold on, man. I gotta, I gotta put on my shades for this. One. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me turn the AC down so y'all can hear me for this one, bro. How many times I've been telling y'all, Dodge will two come out with an electric car? Hold on a minute. Did we hear that right? Dodge is making an electric car. We're talking hypothetical, right? Surely you jest. Dodge? You mean the people who devised the legendary 426 Hemi and sunk it into a sublime missile? You mean the Dodge that created the Hellcat Red Eye and the most powerful muscle car in the world? Makers of the 840 horsepower wheel standing demon? Why on God's green earth would Dodge ever? build an electric car. Anybody? Any thoughts out there? Hello? It's Authentic Bennett and we back with another video, man. And today, today we about to completely flip the car. I already told y'all about the uh, Demonology event uh, in conjunction with Street Kings Baton Rouge. So that should be a pretty, pretty dope event. You know, a whole YouTubers call out. Um, I seen names of the real Nova. You know, I don't know where she from, but I know she out of uh, Dallas. You know, um, demonology, of course. You know, you got all the people from BR coming on down. Um, y'all make sure y'all be there at the Grudge Fest, man. It's gonna be on the 24th of this month. Another flyer pop up right now. Yeah, so, um, like I said, we getting the car ready, getting the car together for that event. Um, we will be taking the wrap off today. As y'all know, I got the cranberry on there right now. You know, the cranberry, pretty good look. It ain't quite my style. Like I said, I wrapped this car um, for the event that was in May when Demonology came down here, which I wasn't able to make it to that event, but I wanted to put my car on the track and all that. So I wanted to switch up the uh, the wrap on it. Um, that's why I took the gray wrap off and went with the cranberry and wrapped it myself and everything. But this time, um, I will be switching it up again because like I said the cranberry is a nice color but it ain't it it really ain't me it really ain't it, it don't fit my style you know like that uh that gray I had on there now that was me all day just laid back chill you know what I'm saying that was me that was me so I need to find a rap color that's uh 
most suiting, more that, that that suits me better. So I will be on the lookout for that. Y'all uh, put in the comments right now any suggestions you think um, would fit me and also fit the Model Three. You know, so uh, y'all let me know, of course, in the comments right now. Hit them comments right now. Let me know what you think. Um, but as far as now. What I do is I go ahead and pull everything off on this video. Um, last time with me and the kids, it took about maybe a good hour, and we wasn't doing it the whole time. So it was about an hour or two to uh, peel a wrap off. Of course, that take no technique. You just pull and wrap off. You know, maybe use the heat gun to heat it up a little bit to make it come off easier. But there's nothing to it. There's nothing to pull and wrap off. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out get that in and get this thing started but uh first 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 we got the hustle juice y'all know we got the hustle juice we're about to hit the gym right quick then we gonna head back to the house and um go ahead and proceed to pull this wrap off uh, right now i don't have a front splitter on her and i don't have my real rear diffuser on her so once the wrap is off, I will be installing both of those, everything all in this video. Um, even if it is the next day for the diffuser and the parts I gotta add to it, it will be in this video. So this car will look completely different in this video. Uh, we'll be doing the before and after of how this thing gonna turn out, man. It's definitely gonna be pressure. Definitely, definitely, definitely gonna be pressure. Why am I driving right now, man? Let me put this thing in autopilot, man. Put this thing in autopilot, man. Yes, indeed. But um, like I said, the uh, YouTubers call out slash grudge fist slash a lit event is definitely gonna be pressure. So y'all make sure y'all come down. Uh, the next time I pick y'all up, we will be in an authentic garage, giving y'all a full walk around of how the car look right now. And um, we're gonna get the pill in this thing, man. I got my baby Mackenzie, got my baby Malaysia at the house right now. So uh, they're gonna help me peel this thing off and get it looking good. I don't even have to go to no car wash, man. All you gotta do is peel a wrap off the paint. Uh, I had a guy come to the house and detail it up real good right before I wrapped. So the paint is immaculate underneath. That's one good thing about wrapping your car. The paint is immaculate. So uh, all we gotta do is pull it off and uh, get it started, so let's go. All right, y'all, we back at the house, just like that. But they go ahead and get this thing together. Keep the door open so the music can keep playing, even though I can't play it right now. You know, y'all be tripping with the copyright, man. I know it is y'all. But uh, as y'all can see, I started this thing off already. Boom, boom, boom. Fresh white underneath. Like I told y'all, that paint is dripping. Bro, I swear y'all don't understand how convenient it is just to charge up at your house, bro. Charge up right here. No problem, bro. Gotta. <laughs> Mopar is still in my heart, man. Y'all already know that. 200 on the dash. That came out the Hellcat right there. But Mopar is still in my heart, man. But boom, charge that thing up at the house. And it's just convenient, man. I'm going to go ahead and get y'all a walk around. First, I need to turn that light on so y'all can see. Get a full understanding of what's going on. Oh. Uh, but that's it right there. You know, that's her with the wrap on. I think I'm gonna miss it already. I ain't even take it off yet, but I think I'm gonna miss it, man. This is my first time ever wrapping a full car. First time ever, you know? And I think it came out real, real cold. Like for real, like real, real cold. Like a lot of people mess up on parts like this on their first time. Man, that John look like paint. Like for real. For real, for real. I really like the turnout of it. But it's got to go. It's got to go indeed. So we're going to go ahead and rip the first panel off. And I'm going to show you how easy this is. Look at this. Look at this. Don't think nobody could just come up and start ripping your uh, wrap off your car either. Because I had to pop the hood a little bit, as you can see. And I had to peel all the way back in the corner to get to it so can't nobody just walk up and start peeling but as y'all can see how easy it does come off go ahead and put that back down so i can just rip it 
Now, I can tell you right, it can come off in one piece. And it is easier to come off uh, the hotter it is. I remember last time we took our wrap off, it was kind of cool outside. So that's why I had to add heat. Pop the hood one more time. Boom. So like I was saying last time, we had to add a little heat to um, get this thing to peel good, but it's like damn near 100 degrees outside. So we have no issues there at all. As you can see, this thing peeling effortlessly, you know, just like that. It's easy if you get around the edges first, and then you can rip the whole thing off through and through, just like that. Like I said, that paint is just shining. Looking good, man. Looking damn good, man. Oh, man, I miss it already. I ain't lying, bro. I, I miss it already. I ain't lying. You ain't even know I was about to uh, unwrap it on. Look at it. We got I mean, the pit bull. We got the pit bull. We got the pit bull. Try. Um, I don't even know what type of coat this is, but it is pressure, man. We just keeping him for the weekend. He's so nice, though. Man, this make me, this make me feel like I want a pit, man. Man, look at him. Look at the structure. Look at the eyes, bro. <laughs> oh, he pressure. He pressure. But this is where we at so far, man. Got that halfway done. I'm gonna go ahead and sit y'all down. And uh, we gonna go. Hey, you gonna bite some of this uh, wrap off? You gonna bite some? What you chewing? What you chewing? What you doing? Oh, um, go ahead and sit y'all down so we can get this done. Let's go. All right, y'all. So we made some progress, man. Some progress. Look at what we got here. You know, got the front off, got the sides off, got the got the whole bumper off, man. Got the whole top off. Got the whole top off, man. Got the doors off, the back off, the whole bumper off. I just gotta take this light out to uh, get rid of all that. That's one thing that I am. I'm real thorough about my work. So I took the whole light off and wrapped in the inside behind the light so you couldn't see no white at all. A lot of people don't do that. But uh, that's what we doing over here. That's how we rocking. And I kind of got a surprise for y'all, man. I'm not just doing the wrap and adding the front splitter. I'm also adding some red seats, man. Ooh, look at that with the red with the white, I mean with the uh, black in the middle. Man, tell me that ain't gonna be cold with the red calipers. You know, white on red, on red. <laughs> That's gonna be cold blooded, man. Uh, and also we adding the big chunky rear diffuser. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. That's gonna be pressure. Matter of fact, this is it right here. Pure carbon fiber, man. But tell me that ain't pressure. Tell me that ain't pressure with the red seats. And uh, you know I was gonna get rid of this car if I can ever focus back in. I was The plan was to get rid of this car at the end of the year when a certain other car come out. But now that I'm getting this right, how it is right now, oh, it's gonna be hard to see it leave. I ain't lying, man. That white is so pressure. Like, I don't know why I wrapped this in the first place. I swear, it's like so much pressure. Bro. So much pressure, look at that. Look at that, man. Can y'all imagine how that's gonna look once we put that lip on there? So much pressure. That adds so much to the car, it's crazy. And as y'all can see, I left that accent tint on the front end. I thought that gave it a special look. So I had to add that. I had to keep that on there. That look cold, man. That's gonna be so much pressure with the red seats, man. Y'all stay tuned. Bro, hold on. I gotta get in the car for this one, man. I gotta. I gotta put on the AC for this one. Bro. Bro, hold on. I gotta take out the earbuds for this one. Hold on, man. <laughs> hold on, man. I gotta, I gotta put on my shades for this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, let me turn the AC down so y'all can hear me for this one. Bro, how many times I've been telling y'all Dodge will to come out with an electric car? I told y'all, man. I'm talking about for a whole year, ever since I had, you know, got into the EV world, got me a electronic vehicle. I've been telling y'all about this performance. 
I've been telling y'all about this power. I'd rather drive this car way, 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 way more than I'd rather drive a Hellcat. And that's saying a lot. I'm, I'm more part to the bone girl, so y'all know that. So that should speak volumes within itself when I say it. I'm telling you, I... <clears throat> It's been so many times I let this car just sit at the house, let the uh, Hellcat just sit at the house just to drive this Model 3 because it give you more of a thrill. It lock you to that seat like crazy. It's, the performance is on a whole nother level. So since then, I've been telling y'all, I've been telling y'all about these EVs, man. Like, people, like, you, you can't really understand the power of these cars until you get in and experience it for yourself. And people don't want to believe it. But I say that to say this. I just got the word that Dodge is making an EV. Dodge, man. The same people who made the Hellcat. The same people who made the Demon. The same people who made the uh, the Elephant engine. Come on, man. Dodge. Dodge. So they only put out a teaser as of, as of right now. They put it out like maybe 50 minutes ago. Uh, you know, in the middle of me rapping this rap, I saw it. I had to get on here and make this a part of the video because this is crazy. This is great news, man. I had it in my mind already that, okay, I, I love Mopar. You know, I'm going to stick with Mopar. I'm going to stick beside it, all this, all that. But I like the EVs way more, so I'm going to have to leave Mopar in the dust until they get their mind right. And that's what I, I had planned to do. But now that Mopar has just announced that they are going all electric i'm coming back home man i'm coming back home to Mopar, man i can't wait for this thing to come out man this thing is going to change everything forever Mopar is like one of them brands who has very very loyal followers very very loyal loyal supporters and they had bruh the fact that they jumped on the electric wave, bruh, that's hands down. They needed to do that. They, I couldn't believe, I, I can't believe it took them so long, but I'm glad they finally made it there, man. I hope this car is, um, I, I'm excited to see this vehicle. I'm excited to see what it is. Like I said, they didn't say what it was yet, but I know it's going to be pressure, man. Knowing Mopar, they style and they design is like, man, it's up there, you know? Mopar is like crazy, crazy, crazy. So I know it's gonna be pressure, and I'm excited to see it come out. I was excited to see the Ford truck come out, but I'm not a Ford guy again. I was excited to see, um, um, to hear Chevy announce that they will be making an electric uh, truck, but I'm not all that into Chevy. But Mopar, come on, man, come on, hands down, hands down, pressure, 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 pressure. That is great news, man. Let's get back to the video. All right, so let me show y'all what we got so far. Uh, come around here. We got a rear diffuser. Yes, indeed. Of course, I'm going to bring this thing out in the sun once we all done. Uh, this took a while to put on, man. This took a while, especially with one person. If I had two sets of hands, it would have been a whole lot easier. But it's just balance, trying to balance the weight. And get everything in the proper spot, proper position. As you can see, I got the painter's tape holding everything together into the 3M tape cure. Uh, how this setup is, it's 3M tape all around the edges, top and bottom. But at the bottom, you got set screws that go all the way down. I'll show you a few of them real quick. As you can see, one right here. Another one right here. And it's all around the bottom. Um, that's what's holding the bottom up and the top is only 3M tape so what I did was I set everything in place and then I put the painter's tape just to sit on top as a cure I'll probably leave that painter's tape on for a whole day so um, y'all can see round about how it's gonna look and next up is the front look so I'm gonna have to go ahead and back that thing on up y'all see how good that white look that is crazy but I'm gonna go ahead and back that thing on up to get the lip installed. This should be quick, easy. Uh, don't have 3M tape on this one, but I will be adding some 3M tape. And how you put it together is you use one of the plastic rivets on each corner, and then you got four screws at the bottom. 
but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add some 3M tape to the bottom too because, you know, it gotta hold up to my speed. Bruh, look, I'm out here fixing the car, working on the car. Look at the kids, man. They got every duck in the neighborhood around here. You think they'll bite it on my hand? Uh, look, Stormy want it. Stormy, Stormy. No, she want. Oh, Stormy. <laughs> Look at the little, look at that flank. This one too. And flank. Yeah, I don't want the whole thing. Let me throw one lower piece. It's and like flank. 15 or 16. Watch this, Daddy. And flank. Ooh, they fighting over it too. And flank. And flank. Oh, she's scared. Uh, look, look. I think she likes the duck. That's yeah. the black one. I'm not letting that one get me. Alright, y'all. So. It's the next day. Uh, Y'all gotta forgive me um, if I sound a little. Uh, if I don't display that much energy today. Uh, I just found out my cousin passed away. It's been like the. I don't know how many funerals I've been to this year, man. Within a year's time. It's crazy. But getting back to the video, um, I'm gonna go ahead and. We ran out of. We ran out of uh, sunlight yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, pull the car up, so y'all can see what we got right now. All right, so walk around here. You'll see, you'll see we got the rear diffuser, but it's still taped up. Right now, it's been about a good 24 hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, the painter's tape off. Again, this was just to hold pressure while the 3M tape pretty much cured onto the paint. Uh, I didn't need to do it up here on this top part because gravity did the work for me. You know, I pretty much stuck it on Within an hour, I was driving, you know, <laughs> business as usual, no no problems, no issue uh, with this one. I didn't have to tape that down at all, but with this one, of course, gravity is pulling down, so I had to do a little something, but I'm going to go ahead and take that tape off, and we're going to pull it out in the sun so we can get a real, real good look of uh, the rear diffuser. So... Let's go. All right, so we got it pulled all the way out the garage. Go ahead and check out how it look. And to me, it look damn good, man. That look damn good. That add to the stand to the car. Make everything just gel together, in my opinion. You know, I think that look real good. Damn good, man. That side profile. With that big chunky diffuser just tie everything together you know i've been thinking about uh putting some authentic tent right here i think that'll um you know pull everything together even more so uh i just might do that today i think i got a few scraps of the authentic tent uh y'all hit them comments let me know if i should leave that part white i'll go ahead and uh you know black it out too but i think that's a dope look all we got now is uh the front lip, the front spoiler to put on. And we're gonna do that after we get back from the gym. And I got a surprise coming for the whip, man. A surprise coming for the whip, man. Brand new makeover for the whip. So y'all gonna wanna stay tuned. Ooh, did we see another surprise? Hold on. Y'all gotta wait on that. Alright, so y'all know we ain't been in the dead end, at the dead end in a while, so it was only right that we came down here to showcase the car. Alright, so just walking around, you see I got the front lip put on there. Uh, this only took about 10 minutes to do. Uh, what it was, I replaced that plastic rivet, if you can see it, with a brand new rivet. Took the old one out, put the front lip on, replaced it with the new one. The new one is longer and kind of more heavy duty but that was quick and easy put some 3m tape on the other side of it and put uh i think it was like four or five screws uh underneath little self self tapping screws 
Then the same thing on this side, same exact thing. So that was a real, real quick install. Real, real quick install, but it make it make a big difference, man. And I think that was a good idea leaving that uh, authentic tent just to add a little accent. Y'all know I had that on there with the wrap, but it really, it really shined better with that white paint. I don't know why, but this is how the look is gonna be until the next one, man. This is it. This is it. She dirty right now, but we're gonna clean up real good. We're gonna get her right. Um, as far as the real diffuser, I added uh, some more tape just to support it, and I'm gonna keep it like that overnight. But other than that, she looking good, and it is dirty, but she looking clean, man. She looking clean so far, so good. But uh, that's gonna wrap up this video, man. To the next video, Authentic Benny. I'm out.